Hey, we're again, LFA. I'm here with Levi Miles. What's up, guys? He's ready to go. He's going to be fighting Ray Trujillo, a guy that's been around the scene for a, a long period of time. Yeah, he's been around a while. Yeah, 24 uh, and 20. Uh, they're going to be fighting May 25th at the Bond Factory. It's always an exciting fight. He's a fan favorite. Levi's a fan favorite. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely one of the guys that uh, you know brings the action. I try to, man. I try. That's my style, man. I like to. Not just please the crowd, but I like to leave a memory in people's memory banks. I want them to come watch me next time, man. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. It's always an exciting time to come watch Levi. Levi. Uh, and then, so, 8-3, and three, you're coming off two wins. Yes, sir. Okay, so you had to go out to Louisiana. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. I, I had one out in Louisiana against, uh, I'm trying to think of his name now. Decision victory. Yeah, it was a decision victory. He's a tough, hard, hard, hard fought, uh, hard, hard fought guy, man. Uh, yeah, it was it was good though. It was a good mm -hmm. win for me. It was a good win against a four zero kid who's got some promise and actually I, like he shouldn't he, sh he shouldn't be a uh, he's actually four and one now he's four and two he shouldn't be four and two you know he's yeah. one of those guys that just kind of fell on hard times like not have fell on hard times but like had some tough fights that he could have avoided early and would have set himself up a little better you know just like I did I had some hard fights early in my career where it's like I could have won those fights um, just being a less savvy than my opponent kind of lost me that fight but it was a close fight and he's, he's a good dude doesn't deserve to be four and two so it, it was actually a tougher fight than fight than what it should have been yes but he's like what he's like you right like yeah you don't turn down fights no you'll take out all comers exactly and that's it's exactly what it was it. yeah and he took it on a two weeks notice so i like all props to uh Try to think of his name. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get your name, buddy. We're gonna give all the respect to the world. You have all the respect of the world from us. And then, so, and then you were gonna, you were scheduled to fight at LFA. Jesse Butler. Jesse, Jesse Butler. Butler. Look yeah. at that, Jesse. There yeah, you go. We yeah. got you. You're, you're got a gamer, you. bro. Uh, you're a gamer, and you should, you don't deserve to be four and two. But sorry, it was my night that night, you know. Yeah. But well, definitely, he had you, you know, a tough yeah. guy. Tough, tough guy, guy, man. He was a tough, tough, tough guy. So and then so like you were supposed to fight at LFA, it was set up, ready to go. And then uh, the opponent fell through, and then you had another yeah. opponent. But then under some, some you know, some, some really just extraordinary circumstances, yeah. that fight fell through as well. Yeah, man, it was horrible. Um, so my original opponent, out due, uh, opponent pulled out due to injury. Uh, I believe he said it was his ribs was hurt, was hurting him. So I was like, all right, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then um, they found me a replacement on like I think a week's notice. And then, like, within that week, his father committed suicide. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, I was like, oh, like, yeah. I can't I can't ask you to fight. I don't know what I would, what kind of mental state I would be in at if something like that happened. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I, I kind of, like, bit the bullet on that one. And Legacy mm -hmm. was like, well, we can't really find you in one with three days notice. Three days, yeah. That's it's a like, possible. well, yeah. So that one all had to fall through. And unfortunately, it sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes opponents get injured and sometimes their replacements have unfortunate circumstances that happen to him like that, you know. So agreed. Agreed. So you, you go ahead and then he you, you go to XKO with the bussies. Yes. Um, and you look dominant there. Uh, Obviously. Just, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Talk a little bit about that fight, you know, because you got you took the fight and you weren't dominant, but just you know, just talk yeah, a little bit. No, no, no. Um I had a good training camp and so I was already in camp for legacy, already preparing. Um so I was already in great shape. Um honestly the weight cut was the hardest part about it. Uh like I got on the scale and was like Dude, I was shaking, like out there. I was, I was, I was cold and like dehydrated, and that's what killed me the most. But uh, I knew going into that fight, he was a, a, a lighter 35er. So like, if I made the weight, I was just gonna be a, a stronger 35er. He's taller, um, but then it's a small square cage, and that just plays into the grappler aspect. You know, I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I try to be a savvy grappler. I'm out here in my gi right now, so. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, just going into it, that was the game plan. Pressure forward, pressure forward, take him to the cage. And he actually gave up his back a lot easier than I thought he was going to. And I sunk my hooks and got the choke right away. That's pretty that much good. all she wrote. If you all she wrote. Back, yeah, all, all she wrote, man. If it, it, not always, but, you know, I, I, I like Edwin Figueroa, like, he, he had uh, some really good, awesome back defense, like, in mind in his fight. So that, mm -hmm. I, like, it's not always all she wrote, but I try to make it a point. Like, if I can take your back, like, I, I get the finish and I get the win, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah. Understood. So now you got Ray Trujillo. He's 24 and 20. He's fought for Legacy. He's fought yeah, for just around. about every promotion. Uh, really tough guy. Yep. So what? What? just tell the LFA fans what, what you're expecting come, you know, next week. Um, man, I, I know he throws a lot of power in his punches. We're, we're, I'm fighting at 45 this time. Uh, he's, a, he's a 45er. He's a bigger 45er, too. So, um... You know, I, I, I should come in pretty energized and uh, bring a little bit more of a speed factor to it. I got to watch out for his power. He's, he's, 
got some power behind his hands and his punches. He's just like I said, he's naturally bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, but all in, all in all, like Ray hasn't changed too much in what like I watched of his forty fights. You know, I've, mm-hmm. I've watched almost like all of them, and I haven't seen too much of a a growth. So that being said, I'm gonna take advantage of what I've seen in his videos, what me and my coaches have game planned on, and it's like uh, we're just gonna take and go in there, stick stick to game plan and get the win. You know, so that's that's really what it is. So Levi Miles, you want to come out? You want to watch a fight? He's exciting. He's a fan favorite. Try he's to gonna, be. Yeah. Try, well, no, you do. Uh, you are, you are his it. fan favorite. So he's gonna be fighting Ray Trujillo, 24 and 20, and this this is gonna be on the main card. So yeah, you can I check think it out. Like third from the from, from the, the from the main, main event. Yeah. The main, so good, you can check it out. out. Yeah, exactly. If you, you can check it out on AXS TV, or you can buy a ticket. You can come out. You can get a hold of any of the fighters. It's going to be at the Bond Factory again. Like we said, May twenty fifth. Anything? Anything you want to say? Uh, just a shout out to my sponsors, my uh, my uh, my gym back home, Mobro Jiu Jitsu. Uh, all my fans, everyone that supports me, uh, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend. Uh, I want to give a shout out to F3 where I train at. All my training partners have been pushing me in this training camp, helping me work towards our goal, you know. Um, other than that, man, can't really say too much. Everyone else, uh, thank y'all. I hope y'all come out and get to watch a barn burner. <laughs> Definitely. I want to thank Fitness Bike Factory for having me out. And you want to come out next Friday and watch Levi Mills do work. Let's do it.